Hello everyone, today in this video we'll be discussing the most important 12 mark question of the module 1 in BDA which is regarding the big data architecture. So if you know this architecture already you can skip this video and watch some other video which you are not sure of the concept of but if you are uh, not sure about the concept how to remember and if you are feeling any doubt make sure you watch this video till the end I'll, uh, I'll be telling you how to actually remember the diagram in a most simple and efficient manner and that easily you can score 12 marks. So without wasting any more time let's get started make sure you like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and let's Let's get started. With a neat diagram, explain the function of each five layers of uh, big data architecture design. So here you need to break down the question into two parts. The first thing is you have to mention what is the five layers and then you have to write something about the layers. Okay. So let's first understand how do you memorize the layers. The first thing is the source. Whenever you want something, you will search for the source of it, where you will get it from, right? So source is the first thing you need to keep in mind. When you have got the source and you have it uh, in your hand, some uh, something you have in your hand, that thing cannot be used as such. You have to make some editing to it because in the world we don't get everything in a perfect shape right so that's why we have to do cleaning to it okay like uh, for that from the data perspective you'll get the data but it will not be clean right you have to clean the data now if you hold the data in your hand some thief will come and take it right so you have to store it somewhere that's our next step storing the data in a se uh, secure and reliable place now just storing the treasure and not um, you, uh, using it somewhere like uh, not uh, if you got a treasure in your uh, search to some other uh, sea at that time if you just keep the treasure money in your home and don't use it then it's no use of uh, getting the treasure itself so you have to use that data for that you have to process it right so for the processing you'll be having some steps and you'll be using the uh, algorithms in order to make the good use of the data when it's ready you will be using it for application repeat with me source cleaning storage processing and application now we have to understand what is relevant in these you just have to write these keywords and after that you have to write few other keywords okay and other keywords you have to write it in a sentence form so in the source what is the main thing is you are pushing the data or pulling the data from where you are getting the data which type of data you are getting and the format of the data the data type can be uh, like uh, csv or json format and data format can be in the form of structured or unstructured data so a brief information about what type of data you have got that you have to mention in the source moving on we have cleaning the data in the cleaning of the data basically you are getting rid of the useless values and irrelevant values for that you will be using elt what is elt extract load and transform you will be doing this thing in the elt then you will be using this data semantics semantics means you are correcting the data in its original format and then you are pre-processing the data making it more cleaner and more usable after you have cleaned the data you have to store it somewhere so we'll be storing the data and we'll be storing it mainly in hadoop also we'll be using a tool called as nosql for storing the data then we have the processing in which the map reduce will be there we'll be using the map reduce concept to store the data and process the data after you have done that we'll be doing it in either real time or the batch time and you'll be doing it in a synchronous or asynchronous manner these are the three keywords you have to after I processing finally we have the application layer very easy all you have to remember is export the data to the cloud visualize it and analyze the data what what it is so since it is an analysis of the data you'll be doing the analytics and getting the report of where all it can be used and the users will be the ones who will be using the data these are the file layers you have to keep in mind have a look at this pause the video go through these concepts all of these uh, key points which i mentioned are uh, present here make sure you know this concept very well and that's all for this video make sure the like button subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one